everyone. Dr. Sarah Grummert here from the Institute for Mixed Methods Research, and today I want to go over some of Deduce's real-time collaboration features. First off, let's learn how easy it is to add other folks to your project. The first step is always loading the project that you want to add people to. So right now I've loaded my test project called Collaboration, but you can always go to your project's workspace and then load the appropriate project. From here, we're going to go to our security workspace, and this is where you're going to see everyone who's currently added to the project already, along with what security group they're in, and then some options to add other security groups and other people. Often, it's OK to keep people in that full access group that comes as the default in Deduce if they're a trusted uh, colleague and collaborator. Deduce makes it pretty difficult to delete anything on accident. So most people just go with that default group, but you can add other security groups that can restrict access to certain areas of Deduce and even certain features. To add a different group, you would choose that add group button, and then you're presented with dozens of options here that restrict different data points or access to certain areas. So you can go all the way to full access, which is the group we currently have, to guest access, which is basically look, but don't touch. So let's go ahead and add a guest access. And then hit submit. And you'll see that new security group there for us. If you want to add someone to the project, you just choose add user. And from here, you choose which security group you want to put them in. Let's go ahead and use the guest access for this. And then you would input their email address. So if they're a current Deduce user, you would just input their email and click Submit. And then Deduce will tell you, hey, they found that person. Do you want to invite them to your project? You can select Yes. On their end, they're going to receive an email notification notifying them that they've been added to your project. And the next time they log into Deduce, they'll receive a little pop-up window asking them if they want to accept the project invitation or not. So we can go ahead and hit OK. You can also add a user that does not currently have a Deduce account. It's the same process. You input their email and hit Submit. And then Deduce will alert you, hey, we don't have anyone in the system with that email. And you have two options here. You can either invite user. What this will do, it will send them an email asking them to create a Deduce account. And again, they would get that first 30 days free. So you can always just invite user to be safe. Or you can create a new user. What this will do is it will add them to your account group as well as the project. So if you want to pay for this person and invite them to the project all in one action, you can do so through this security workspace. And again, they would receive an email notification telling them about their new account and then upon logging in, they would reset their password and their information. And it's nice that you can move people into different groups. So you always have the option to change group and you can move people around depending on your needs. Next, I wanna talk about the instant messaging system within the app. So on the upper right, you'll see two icons. One is a little mail icon and then the other is telling you how many people are currently in the project. So if you click on either of those, it will bring up a window that allows you to communicate and chat with folks who are currently in the project. So right now I see myself and Kasima. Let's say I wanted to send her a message alerting her of what file I'm working on. So this really underscores the point that you don't have to worry about merging projects or syncing projects. Instead, with Deduce, you have one project, you can add as many people as you need to that project, and you're working on the same exact files. So you don't have to worry about if what you're seeing is the most up-to-date version of your project or anything like that. So let's take a look at what it looks like to code the exact same file. I'm going to go to my media workspace and open up a document. 
When you open it up, you'll see that your excerpts that have already been created are highlighted for you. And if you hover over the bar to the left, it'll give you some information about who created that excerpt and what codes are applied. So here you can see uh, Sarah coded Dolly in first publication, whereas Delphine only coded Dolly and it was farther up in the paragraph. So this is a really great tool, especially early in your project, when you want to code the exact same document and figure out your code book, your code applications and definitions, and establish a level of agreeability going forward. A great feature for coding the exact same document is the ability to filter out other people's work. So if you go to your datasets workspace, this is where you can do some really advanced filtering. And one of the options to filter by is other users. So if I click that users tab, I'll see everyone who's currently added to this project and I can choose to deactivate everyone else. And then from here, I can just choose myself. So this will allow me to go back in and code this document and not see other people's work so I won't be influenced or distracted by what they've already coded. So I'm going to go ahead and X out here and I'm going to refresh deduce to make sure that that filter is applied. Go back into this document and then you'll see I'm only able to view my own work. The data sets tab will glow in red for you, alerting you that you currently have a filter on. And wherever you go and deduce when you have a filter applied, you'll see this little funnel icon. This allows you to quickly toggle the filter off if you want to compare your filter with the full data set. So in this instance, if I click that funnel, I'll see everyone else's coding again. So I can see Delphine here. If I scroll down, I can see Delphine and myself. But if I want to apply that filter again, just click that funnel and now I'm only seeing my work. So again, a really great tool for that early coding phase where you're figuring out your code book or if you want to gauge your level of agreeability with other people on your team. To clear this out, you would just go back to your data sets workspace, hit clear current set, and then all items are going to be active in your project again. Since Deduce is keeping track of who is creating excerpts and applying codes, you also have some great filtering options within the excerpts workspace. So this is basically a huge database of every single excerpt that's been coded within Deduce. And then you have some options to filter here on the side. You can filter by codes, people, the type of media it was, the length, and any descriptor information. What I want to bring your attention to here is the option to filter by user. So if you wanted to quickly pull up everything that Cosima has coded, you can do so. Same thing with anyone else in the project, and you can get really specific. So if you want to pull everything that Delphine has coded on a certain document with certain descriptors or certain codes, you can do so. And you can get as specific as you need with your comparisons. For instance, if you want to compare everything Delphine coded with the code BAN, you can add BAN to your filter area, and select true. So this is going to be everything Delphine coded with BAN. You could select these and export them and put them side by side with what Cosima coded with BAN. So another good tool if you want to do comparisons between what folks are coding. All right, that's where I'll leave it today, but be sure to check out the Deduce Learning Center if you want to do a deep dive on any of the features that I previewed today.